Hey gamers, Rockhawk64 here. Recently a fan by the name of Ice sent me a game on Steam called... Uh, I'm not going to pronounce this game's name. This game is the stupidest fucking name I've ever goddamn heard of. Anyway, let's get started. So, this game is a Flash game that you pay money for. It has a story. I don't know why it has a story, considering these graphics. Like, that's pretty much the first thing we have to talk about here, the game's graphics. The game tries to have what indie developers would call a retro graphics style. But... I don't know what ret retro console has graphics like this. Maybe the Commodore 64, but the Commodore 64 would not animate as smoothly as this, and it definitely wouldn't support all this crap going on at the same time. Um, a ZX Spectrum? No, that wouldn't be able to support this resolution of graphics. Maybe an Atari? I, I don't think so, though. See, here's some more story, which... I don't know how you can get into when this game seems to pretend to be some kind of retro-style game, and I don't think any kind of simple platformer like this would have this kind of story. So yeah, this is another one of those cases where retro graphics are an excuse for the game to have bad graphics. It's more story that no one who plays this game will care about unless you have autism. The gameplay in this game is... Extremely simple, you go left and right, and you can change the gravity. Like, that's all there is to it. It doesn't seem to get any more complicated than this. It's just left, right, and change gravity. So, basically, playing the game for five seconds gives you everything and anything you could possibly get out of this game. Which begs the question, why is this a full retail game that costs money? I don't understand why anyone would pay for this. It's not significant enough to warrant any amount of money whatsoever. And I'm definitely not having fun playing this. The only reason I am playing this is because it was sent to me by a fan. And I figure if someone sent it to me, they want to know what I think of it. Well, here's what I think of it. I think it's a bad game boring waste of money, and I find it hard to believe that this actually is available on Steam for any amount of money at all. I guess I should talk about the sounds, but the truth is I have the game muted right now, and I haven't ever actually heard this game's music. But I'm going to take an educated guess here, considering this is an indie game with faux retro-style graphics, it's a quirky platformer. Let's see, I'm gonna go on a limb and completely, completely guess, I have never heard this game's music before, I'm gonna guess that this game's music is chiptunes. Am I right? Does this game have chiptunes? Is that it? Probably. I'm guessing the chiptunes kind of sound like something you might hear from a Commodore. With lots of, you know, really computery bloop 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 noises and the occasional, like, fake drum. Is that the kind of music this game has? I don't know. I can't hear it right now, but I'm gonna assume that maybe with 99% accuracy that I'm correct. Because that's the kind of game this is. This isn't a unique game. This isn't some magical little special game out there. This isn't some special game that deserves special attention. This is a cookie-cutter indie game. This does what every indie game does. And if you bought this game, or enjoyed this game, you might be part of the problem. Just putting that out there. So overall, this game's a piece of shit. And if you like it, I don't like you.
at all. And if you have games you want me to play, you can send me Steam gifts at rockhawk64 at thebestgamers.net. Play it loud, gamers. Just don't play it like this.